Hello and welcome to another free tutorial video brought to you by emailmarketinghelp.org. Today we're going to take a look at how to create an autoresponder list in one shopping cart. So across the top you'll see lots of options and you want to look at the email and marketing tab then autoresponders. You can either manage current lists or create a new one. We're going to create a new one. And this is about the simplest process out there, even easier than a Weber, Eye Contact, or Constant Contact. You simply create a name for it. Now there are a lot of reasons why you'd create an autoresponder list. One shopping cart uh, works great because you can attach them to products. So let's say they bought training. Uh, maybe one. Maybe you have multiple training programs. You can have direct subscribe. You can enable that. Now you simply need to set the from address. So for maybe ours will be support at email marketing help org. The from name. This is what they'll see in their email inbox. Is it shareable? I always set that to yes. And is there an opt-in verification message? So you can choose a template and you can even view it and I'll show you. Now this is what they send to have to opt in. This is what we talk about when we say double opt in. It's not it's not just them to say it's not just for people to say hey I want you know yes yeah, sign me up and that's it. What happens is they agree to sign up then they have to go to their inboxes and confirm the subscription. This is what is called double opt in. They've opted in twice. Now it says you currently do have opt in verification turned on. Uh, you can turn that off and go to a single opt-in uh, if you'd like. You know, you can set your default settings. Require opt-in for web form submissions? No. And then they would be added to it automatically. This has, you know, like we've talked about many times, varying degrees of, of benefit. Uh, you can get more people on your list, obviously, but if you make them opt-in, they're saying twice that they're interested and that they want to be a part of your list. So, you know, a double opt-in list is definitely more valuable than a single opt-in. And that's really it. And you can save it. And now the list is created. Now it'll ask me, okay, we can select a message. Uh, we can create messages here. Here it'll give us a message type. You can have the subject line and the message body. So that automatically brings you into uh, creating your messages. It shows your footer, your signature. You can even put this message into other autoresponders. So I have maybe SEO trainer level one purchaser. Maybe I want to copy it right in there. So adding messages to your new autoresponder list is extremely easy. So now it's all done. We see we have the new bot training one. And we can go and edit it. You'll notice the overview screen looks a lot like a Weber, Constant Contact, and Eye Contact. It tells you how many clients you have. You know, is it shareable? You can look at a report. You can t test messages, things like that. And inside the message, Now you can see subscribe by email address. That'll tell you where it's going to send the subscription notice when people subscribe. And now you can create a new message. And you can keep creating new messages. Days, days delay. This is again how many days passed since the last email you sent out. Zero means as soon as it's subscribe, it's going to send right away. So you can start adding, subtracting messages, and working like that. So hopefully this helps you out. And uh, hopefully you're getting better at using one shopping cart, and we'll continue to make these tutorial videos to help you out. Remember to stop by emailmarketinghelp.org to get all the information you need.